wonder if we can get one of these guys to land on our hand here. Well, we got one on our head. That'll have to do. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and we are 15.6% on the way to breathable atmosphere. Um, so we're going to do some more rockets in this episode. We're going to set up some Tier 2 tree spreaders because uh, those popped for us. Um, uh, so those, yeah. So we got the, the Tier 2 tree spreader. Um, not sure if anything else popped. Oh, yeah, I did get this um, uh, Elegia, I guess, tree. So... Uh, we got that, and we're going to actually take this and another one that I did uh, in the gen genetic sequencer ma machine thingy, this thing, DNA sequencer thing. Um, yeah, so we, we made this uh, Elegia tree seed, and we also made another Soleus. Uh, we're going to take those over to the lakeside base, and I also discovered something. Um, and, and some of you may have mentioned this in the comments, but I have not seen that from the last episode. Uh, those little spots that you have, that you see around with just little puddles of water and some rocks and ferns surrounding it, you can put those tree spreaders on there, and that's probably why what they're for. Um, so I'll show you one of those um, when we get that far. But let's start with, oh, and the other thing we're going to do is we're going to make some high-quality food because that popped for us as well. That takes honey and beans. Uh, I have set up a second beehive. I have a third bee larva, and we're going to do a total of four because it only creates one honey uh, per thingy. Uh, so uh, that's a scientific term, by the way, thingy, in case you guys didn't know. Uncommon larva, a mutagen, and a fertilizer. So I, I also made a silkworm, but I made that a little prematurely because we can't do anything with that until we get the thing that lets us make silk. So we're just going to sit on him or it. Um, so... A fertilizer and a mutagen. Um, we got a bacteria sample that I found in some loot. I went over to the volcano vo vo uh, bloop, biome. Slow down, mouth. And, <laughs> and got a bunch of obsidian because we're going to need them for the tier two tree spreaders. Uh, okay, so what do we what do we get? Okay, so we got the bacteria sample. We just need a sulfur and a methane. I moved the methane thingy right outside the door here by the way. Um, oh, the other thing that we'll probably do today as well is um, I think I am going to upgrade to the tier 2 food processors just to increase our food production. Maybe not for the beans because I'm just eating the beans for now. Um, but for these ones, because I'm really going through mushrooms and eggplant pretty quickly, you know, making all of the fertilizers and all, the, all that stuff. Alright, so this fertilizer needs a sulfur and three more algae. Let's see, what else did I do? I set up um, the... Um, I put an ore extractor over by um, the Iridium Cave in the start area by our lakeside base. Okay, let's put all these in here. And get that sequencing going. Um, so yeah, if we look at the map here, I placed a... Uh, I, I placed a, an ore extractor inside this cave. I pulled the one that was here for the sulfur out and, and moved it over here. And then I pulled the extra one that I had over here and moved it over here because uh, you can get sulfur in this little spot, which I had no idea that you could, but uh, you certainly can. Uh, so we got that going. I added, um, I went ahead and added a lake water generator thingy. And I... And we did, I think we already had done the three uh, T2 algae guys, but I put this down here with a thing next to it so we can start building that up because my plan is to primarily use algae uh, or more specifically bacteria samples uh, to make money for the, uh, the, the sales rocket thing. Uh, that in Iridium. So while we're here, we might as well pick... Another batch of this. It's just uh, producing like crazy. 
And once we put the, the two tier two tree spreaders down, I'm gonna also put a tier two machine optimizer down next to them uh, to really get our O2 cranking. We'll run over here and grab a couple more of these. There we go, okay. There's some interesting things happening too, kind of um, around the waterfall. So we're gonna take a quick tour and, and look at that. Um, like for example, the plants are building bridges and things like that for me to walk across. It's just amazing. Um, very, very cool stuff happening here. Okay, so let's put all that in there. Um, geez, where are we gonna put the extra algae? I guess we'll have to put it in overflow, but I need to turn all of this into bacteria samples. Um, so we'll just put you in there for now. Okay, so these bees are done. So we're going to do two more beehives. Um, so for that, we need two more fertilizers and two more bioplastics. Let's pin both of those. Let's do the bioplastics first. So we're going to need a total of... Oh, we, we got another um, osmium storm coming in okay we'll pick that stuff up later i'm not going to worry about it right at the moment uh, we're doing really good on osmium anyways at this point what i'd like to see is a a pulsar quartz storm if that if that even happens i don't know uh, i do know that we can make pulsar quartz later on uh in the tech tree uh what are we doing okay we're going after mushrooms everything's blue And then we're going to need two silicon. I was thinking about maybe moving a silicon base over here, but I guess it's not that far to go. And some water. Let's grab all of those. Uh, we're going to need to drink one of those, too. All right, so let's make... Uh, yeah, we only need two of those. Okay, now we need two ferts. So that's going to be six algaes, four eggplants, two sulfurs. Let's go back here and grab these out again, or six of them. There's four, five, six. Uh, it said we needed two eggplants per. See, I'm just really going through this stuff fast now, and that's why I want to... I haven't completely run out yet, but that's why I wanted the faster plant growers, or food growers. Uh, oh, and two sulfur, right, okay. Okay, and then we just need um, a couple of supers. Uh, whoop, I took, yeah, no, that's right. And that way we can produce four honeycombs at a time. Are we like getting back to back storms? They don't, they don't usually last that long. All right. And of course I like to put these in amongst the flowers because in real life, that's what the bees would want. Cool, okay, so we have four of these now producing honeycomb. I put a chest here to store this in, but now that we have five of these, let's grab all of them. Let's grab five beans. And let's make some high quality food. Okay, so these restore 90 health. I don't know why they didn't just make them restore 100 health, <laughs> but they don't. And now we've got some kick-ass food. Uh, we're going to store those in there. Um, we will carry one with us. Uh, no, just one. And let's just eat this bean right now to top off. So we'll always have one of these in our inventory moving forward. And I'll just keep producing those, you know, off camera as we get to time. Uh, let's do the let's do the rockets next. A million things to do, and it's all. A joy. All right, so here's the thing. We only have 
We only have 2,000% on plants rockets. I want to get everything up to 5,000%. Why? I don't know. I just do. That's not necessarily the optimal um, exchange rate per machine we have. But I just want to shoot for 5,000 as... Uh, you know, because it sounds right. <laughs> I haven't, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I understand that there's diminishing returns and there's math involved in that. But I don't know the, you know, the gory details of all that to really optimize this. Um, maybe what I'll do at some point is see if there's a tutorial video out there, that, you know, to watch on it. But for now, um, we're just going to get all this to 5,000. Okay, so there you go. And because um, oxygen is the most important thing because I want to push that... Uh, to breathable atmosphere. We're going to start with two more seeds spreader rockets. Um, okay, so let's go back to here and uh, unpin that. Why don't we get another one of these going too? Um, this is a 175, that's a 150. Yeah, let's do another one of these so we can actually put up three Tier 2 tree spreaders because we're going to put the Tier 2 optimizer machine with it as well, and uh, then we'll really get a serious boost out of it. So we need a tree bark and a mutagen. One thing about this game too, man, is especially when you get to, the, to where I am, it's nonstop. There's always something to do, which is fun. You know, you're not like getting bored. So, okay, what do I do now? And, you know, we're we're almost completely finished exploring the, the planet. We only have one region that we haven't seen yet. And I'm kind of saving that, uh, you know, for later anyway. What am I doing? We're doing tree stuff, right? Okay, so we need to make, uh, make another mutagen. And um, so that means we need to first make a bacteria sample. And we need, we're going to have to go get some more water. And then we're going to need a sulfur and a methane. Let's make the mutagen. And then we'll pop uh, this, this, and this in there. And get another one of those uh, tree seeds going. All right, now rockets. We're going to start with seeds rockets first. Let's pin that. Yeah, because this is the oxygen multiplier one, okay. We're obviously going to need two rocket engines, so let's grab those first. And we're going to need four supers. We're going to need two tree barks. Two bacteria samples and two mutagens. So that means four bacteria samples. One, two, three, four. No, 12. Yeah, 12 to make four. Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna need to get some water. Well, yeah, because we're out of water in here. Uh, let's go. Look at the osmium sitting all over. Yeah, we definitely got to remember to grab that before, uh, you know, before we log out here. That's just a common larva. Those larvas have been showing up in the house too. It's really funny. It's a raining out. Okay, so we need four of these. And then we need to turn two of them into mutagen. So you make a lot of mutagen and a lot of bacteria samples doing this stuff, I have noticed. Grab two methanes out of there. Make two mutagens. And we should have enough now to launch two seeds rockets. Um, yeah, okay, let's save the game. And let's do it. I 
I'm not gonna bother trying to knock it over. Been there, done that. It's fun. Okay, so that should get our rocket mult. Look at the shadow of that. That's cool. That should get our rocket multiplier uh, up to 5,000, or more specifically, our oxygen multiplier. Um, let's pick this stuff up. Sulfur and osmium. Just all over the place. Uh, we can spot them really, really well too, you know, because they, they glow so brightly. Uh, that's an uncommon larva. I'm going to pick it up. Okay, any more brightly blue glowing thingies of ore? Here, let's go drop this stuff off. That's full. This is getting closer. We'll put the sulfur in here. That was just the right amount, wasn't it? Okay, let's poke our head out the back because we're probably going to have, yeah, we're going to have some more. There's some stuff over here too. Any more brightly glowing blue thingies of ore? I think that's probably all of them. They don't send as many asteroids down in the osmium storm, but what they do do is they give you sulfur and osmium, which is pretty nice. Did you notice what I did there? I said doo-doo. Put this extra sulfur in overflow for now. Okay, well, what's the next thing we gotta do? Uh, more rockets. We're launching rockets like crazy today. Okay, so we have 5,000 um, oxygen. Uh, that is now 19% and oxygen is... Got a big number there. Okay, cool. Um, what's next? Let's get, uh, let's get heat up. We're going to do, uh, one heat, which is uranium and two magnetics, which is iridium and all the iridium we get from that. We're going to turn it into rods and go make a bunch of tokens. Okay, so let's unpin seed spreader. We want to pin uranium and iridium. Okay, let's go. We have one rocket engine left. We'll do that for the uranium. We need two supers and three cobalt. Two supers and three cobalt. There we go. Let's get this one launched. The next one we're going to have to make the our next ones, I should say. We're going to have to make the rocket engines. There she goes. Now, uh, I said I said two of the iridiums, right? Okay, so first we got to make two rocket engines. 
So we need four uranium, two supers, two iridium rods. Got the rockets. Now we need four supers and six silicon. I don't think I have. Oh, I do have two silicon in overflow. All right, that should give us enough to launch two of those. Yep. This will bring down a shit ton of iridium. And we'll wait for the debris to clear before we go pick it all. It'll just be easier that way. Let's get the next one up in the air. Uh, you. Okay. We're making a storm like crazy. Um, oh, we actually need to go back out to the launch platform. Uh, well, no, actually, first, let's go to our command center. Okay, so we have 5,000 um, oxygen, 5,000 heat, 5,000 pressure. We need to do three plants rockets. Okay. Let's do a game save. Wait, did that save? There we go. Okay, let's unpin these, uh, and the, this is plants. Okay. That's going to require fertilizer. Oh, shit. That wasn't smart. Um, do we have more honey? Very nice. Did I screw up the second storm by not waiting for the first one on the Iridium? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we did. Is what it is. Okay. Uh, honey. Uh, we don't have beans. And we got a couple beans ready. And we can also pull... Oh, no. The next storm's coming. Okay, we're good. Look at that. All right, let's eat one of these now to heal because we were a numbskull and hurt ourselves. Um, all right, so we're going to need to make three fertilizer. Let's do that first because that's going to be the biggest pain in the ass. All right, so nine algae. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? Eight. Yeah, nine. Okay. Uh, we're going to need three sulfur. One, two, three. And six eggplant. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should allow us to make three furts. You know what I'm thinking we might want to do at some point, just depending upon how much production we need. Maybe taking, an, you know, an building one of those in here too oh yeah you know what that's going to actually be really useful if we want to mass produce iridium rods and bacteria samples for the store yeah I think we will we will be doing that okay so we got our three fertilizers uh, we can unpin that uh, we're going to need three looks like lerma seed uh, we got a whole chest of those 
three tree bark. Oh, we gotta drink something. Um, this way. In fact, let's grab all of that water. Do we have new tree bark here? Yes, we do. Okay, there's our three tree bark. Look at those butterflies. That is so freaking awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a beautiful thing. Let's put the, the extra waters in here, but we'll keep on with us. Um, all right, and then we need six super alloy. We have to break down another rod. I still got a massive amount of super alloy at the lakeside base. But I don't want to run over there right now. We're going to be going over there later. Pick up. There you go. Get it all? I think so. Put that aluminum in there. And uh, we need a total of six of these, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that, so that, sh bloop, that should give us three plants rockets, except for I'm forgetting the most important component, and that's the rockets themselves. Silly me. All right, let's go here, pin that. So we're going to need this. This pinning is actually really useful. I was kind of, well, no, pinning's always useful. I just thought it was kind of expensive, you know, to, to make them. But, I mean, at this point in the game... Expensive schmensive, right? That, not a big deal. Okay. Uh, we're going to need three more supers. And we just have enough. Okay. And we're going to need six uranium. Which we just have enough. Look at that. It was almost as if it was meant to be. Unpin this. And now we have enough for three plants rockets. Our area is looking so beautiful. Love it. Okay, plants rockets coming up. Let's build the next one. We'll wait for the first one to disappear. I don't think we actually need to do that, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, it's gone. Off she goes. Alright, and we'll build the third one. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead now and pick that, those items. Put the eggplant in there, put the shrimps in here. We got a water, we got a no two, we got a food. Um, I think, all right, let's go see if, uh, the debris is mostly gone out here. Look at look at the oranges sitting out there. There's still a little bit of debris. Okay, we'll wait just a little bit longer on that before we go pick that stuff up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to build uh, one, two, three, four, seven tier two food growers. All right, so to do that... All right, here's the thing. I got to go... Shit, okay. I think what we're going to do is let's do our our tree spreaders next because I need to run over. Ah, shit, we need super alloy for those too, though. I don't want to break down a bunch of rods when I have so much of loose, you know, uh, of the loose stuff. Think, 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 think. 
Um, this. Fertilizers. Okay, we need seven ferts. Do we even have enough stuff to make seven fertilizers? I guess that's a question, right? We're going to need a total of 14 eggplant. We have enough algae and sulfur. Uh, oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, well, all right. Let's just work on the tier two food thingies. Um, so we're going to need 14 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we got that. And then we're going to need seven sulfur. And then, um, what's the other thing? Algae. A buttload of algae. Okay. Let's just do this then. We'll pull all of this out of here. One, two, three. There's three of those. Grab all that algae. Four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Okay. Put that algae back in there. Now, um... Let's see. We just need supers and water. Okay, here's what I'm going to do then. I'm just going to put all this stuff in here. We, we're going to run over uh, to the lakeside base and get all the supers that are over there. Right, okay. Let's do a game save. We'll do a little a little bit of a tour on the way over there. I'm actually going to, even though we have this massively good food, I'm going to top off with a bean. All right, let's take the long way around, and let me just kind of show you some of the stuff that the game's doing. It's really cool. If we come over this way, um, where is that? Oh, there's more osmium over here, too. As far as I know, that stuff will stick around until I log out. So it's these little pools here that you can put the tree spreaders on top of, um, you know, wherever you'll find them, which is really nice. Uh, but this is just really cool looking over here. All the different tree types. I didn't do any of this. This is all the game. You know, I didn't put any tree spreaders or anything like that over here. But it's just gorgeous in here. And we even have, like, these little... Oh, shit. The tree grabbed me. It's trying to eat me. These are man-eating plants. It's got, like, a little, uh, you know, log that fell over in the pond kind of thing. And then over here, we got some kind of aquatic plant horsetail sort of thing going on just really cool man how they how it's doing all that stuff so some more of that over here look at all the trees that are just on the side of the hill there i don't know if the trees that the game puts into the world i don't know if they contribute to our oxygen or not i'm not sure about that Pretty soon we're going to be able to take all of these little shacks down. We won't need them anymore. That's going to be nice. But look at this. This bridge here was not here. The game did this. Um, it's just so gorgeous, too. Look at that. Uh, but the game did this, right? I, that wasn't there before. And it made a, a root bridge over here. <laughs> Isn't that cool? With some really neat-looking flowers in it. That would be quite precarious, though, to try and walk across in real life. But it's just lush over here. Oh, man, just awesome. Okay. Anyway, let's... Uh... Looking good. Let's uh, head over to the um, lake biome. we got our nice little shortcut here. And we're going to just load up on Super Alloy and bring it back, because we just keep needing it like crazy. It made this really neat little passage for us to get through here. It's actually kind of even growing 
more. <laughs> like, I wonder if it'll, it'll grow so much it'll block it off again, which would be kind of trolling us, but... Yeah. So I did put um, that tier one tree spreader in over here in one of these little puddle things. I, I had put it in the water, but then I moved it over here. And uh, wow, that's kind of a pretty dense little forest that it made for us. Very cool. Okay. So what we'll do is we're gonna bring the, we're gonna make, t uh, let's see, three tier two spreaders. We're going to bring them over here um, because I want trees over here, man. We're going to start growing some trees over here. We'll probably put one. Um, we'll probably put one on the lake. And there is, is there another one of those puddle thingies over here. Yeah, there's a puddle thingy there, but I don't know. It doesn't do us a whole hell of a lot of good if it's right next to the lake. They need to put those kind of more out and away from water, right? I would think. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just put them all along the water. This is my iridium guy here. Um, but we're not going to pick any of that up right now just because we need to save all of our room for uh, super alloy. I like the little forest, though, that it made over there. That's really neat. pick those and just keep that keep that all going um yeah we got a nice little collection there i'm actually gonna top off again because why not we have an abundance now all right so let's grab all of the super alloy out of here and out of here and we'll take that back uh, to our base All right, actually, I think let's take the old ones down first or we're not going to have enough inventory space. We'll pick those. I don't care that those other ones aren't ready yet. It's not a big deal. Just want to get these switched over. Got some iron and aluminum back. Uh, we're not going to need either one of those for the new ones. Um, which one do I have iron in? I guess none. Okay. Well, we'll put the iron in there then. Put the extra aluminum in here. That's a nice little aluminum recovery. Uh, let's unpin you and. Yeah, so you got to go back outside to unpin the rocket. It's such a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not, like, the worst thing ever, but it's a pain in the ass. Okay, so we don't need to pin that. We just need seven fertilizers and seven super alloys, and we already have the water. Um, I've got a full thing of squash. We use squash to make fertilizer two, but, yeah, we have to make fertilizer one first. So I think what I'll do is, do I have room in here? I do. I'm just going to put those two in there for now. Okay, so grab all that furt. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I hope these aren't larger. We got a new tree seed, a Humilora. Nice. I did do... Yeah, okay. Okay, so it looks like these have the same footprint, which is good. So we'll put this one right in the center. Put this one right next to it. Uh, Got to pull that out a little bit. Okay, back. Uh, right there. So these you got to pull out a little bit more. Uh, 
And then this one I'm going to uh, turn this way a little bit. And we'll stick it right there. And likewise, let's rotate this one this way a bit. And put it right about there. Okay. Now, I want... We're using eggplant and mushrooms like crazy. We're not using a lot of squash right now. So I think... Okay, how many mushrooms and eggplant do we currently have? Almost the same amount. So we're going to do four eggplant and three mushroom. I'm not going to plant any squash right now. We can we can plant more of that later. Uh, so we need one more of those and one more of those. Nope, not squash, mushroom. Okay. And, you know, I might even at some point... We, we got a massive amount of beans right now. So it might make sense to swap out a couple of these as well. Maybe bring these just down to five and put a couple squash seeds on that side just so they're... You know, because I'm sure we are going to need them. Uh, well, I know we're going to need them. It's just a matter of in what quantities, right? Okay, so we'll do a couple squash there. Put those in there for now. All right, fantastic. We're making good progress, peeps. Good progress. Let's eat one of those. So we got the food growers done. We got the rockets done. The next thing on the list is the tier two planters. Um, so let's grab that tree seeds that we need. And let's pin this. No, we want the tier two. So, okay, so let's start with three tree bark. All right, we're going to need three bacteria samples. So that means we need nine of those and nine of these. Do I have any bacteria or I'm sorry, algae left in here? I got the one. Okay, let's go pick some more algae. Which we can do. Stuff grows really fast, which is a good thing, of course. All right, let's also grab some water out of here. Hydration low. All right, let's make th three more of these. Um, okay, we're going to need three zeolites. We'll put the rest of the algae back in here. We're going to need three supers. And finally, three fertilizers. Uh, okay, so nine algae. <laughs> Let's go back and grab it again. Uh, oh, no, we put that the algae in here. I'm getting my cardio in today, man. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to need nine water. So, let's grab, we got, we got to drink one too, so let's grab you out of there. I should have actually drunk from the lake. 
wasn't thinking. While we're here, let's unpin the rocket recipe. So that was this guy here, right? Yeah. Okay, and then um, sulfur and eggplant. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't need the water. Let's put all that in there. Except for the one requisite. Sulfur. Let's do two of those and four of these. And then we need one more sulfur and two more eggplant. See, we're out, damn near out of eggplant already. Okay, so that should give us everything we need to make three tier two three spread, uh, tree spreader, spreaders. Blah, blah, blah. Um. Oh no, you know what? I made normal fur, not tier two. That's fine. We're going to need it anyway. Fortunately, we have some tier two in here from looting. So that wasn't a waste. We just didn't need to do it right now, but it will not be wasted. Trust me. Okay, so we've got um, the three tier two, three spreader things. We got the, the tree seeds. The last thing we want to do is we also want a machine optimizer. So we need two explosive powder. We need, um, here, let's just do this. Let's pin it. A uranium rod and three obsidian, which is right here. One, two, three. Uranium rod. And we're going to want an oxygen circuit. Or a fuse, I should, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're 28% right now. We're going to give this a nice little boost. Let's head on over to the lakeside base. Look at all that stuff I need to pick up. All right. So, um, one of the things we want to try and do is make sure that our booster is covering the three tier twos for sure and if possible even that one so let's start by putting the first one oh okay what oh these don't need water oh cool man all right that is very cool um, okay, so let's put this one here. I like it. Let's put this one here. We're going to grow a humongous forest around our lakeside base. And we'll put this one maybe here. All right, now the question is... Let's put uh, you in there. We'll put you in there. These things are enormous. Okay, so we got the seeds in them. So the question now is if we put the optimizer... Uh, let's put it... See, we want to try and reach that far one too. Let's put it near here and see what what that does. Yeah, see, I don't... Uh... I'm going to actually pull it more this way. Okay, let's put the... Oh, jeez. So are you saying we can put 
do they have to all three be the same size? Okay, it's definitely hitting those three. And it's even hitting the, the tier one way over there. It appears to me like this has maybe more range than the rings show. I don't know. All right, I wonder if we can put, mo you know, like both oxygen and plant in there. Let's find out. Let's run back to the base, to the main base. And whilst we're here, I want to grab the rest of this super. Um, I think I'm even going to grab that water too, just because we're using a ton of water to make bacteria samples and all that. Alright, I'm gonna run back and grab the other fuses and I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, so my question is, can we put different types of fuses in? It definitely lets us do that. This can support up to eight machines too. The, the, the small one can only do five. It's got a 75 meter perimeter. Okay. Uh, I want to try something else. Pull all of those out. Okay, so this is doing um, oxygen at 1.95 PPTs. If we put that in there, does it change this? Yes, 13.65 PPTs. I think I'm going to leave three O2 fuses in here. Um, look at them up there. That's cool. I'm going to leave three O2 fuses in here until we reach atmosphere. See, that's definitely mo seems like it's moving a little, little more quickly. Biomass is cranking. Okay. And then, you know, once we... Once we reach um, breathable atmosphere, then, you know, maybe we can switch that out to, to plants. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have accomplished everything that I wanted to do in today's episode. We got a lot done. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back to the base pick up all the ore that's scattered all over the place. Um, I'm going to make a crap ton of iridium rods. I'm going to make a big batch of bacteria samples. And we'll start the next episode by sending all that stuff up into space and making some, some money. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to continue getting through here. This is really getting thick through here now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But we're not too far off from teleporters. So and so, you know, once we get those, then all bets are off anyways for for passageways. Because we'll just teleport wherever we need to go. Obviously we're gonna put a teleporter between the lakeside base and the waterfall base. And then we'll have to kinda depending upon how expensive they are and all that, we'll have to try and figure out what other locations make sense to, to do that. Uh, but that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure had fun with it. And uh, if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.